Welcome back, everyone, to Boss Battle Climate Change and the real retro hours. So I need to turn this down. Forgot how much this game blasts in terms of the audio. I'm gonna go a little bit more. There we go. They wanted everybody to know this game was at the arcade, didn't they? All right, what's up, everybody? I'm Elrock617. Got one run for y'all for this weekend event. Want to extend a special thanks to Dumple Sean for putting this all together. Big, big props for that person. It was the whole climate change event was his idea. So be sure to give your golf claps, give your applause to that person. They were raising money for such a good cause. Thank you so much, Dumple. And of course, to RGL for their tireless organizing efforts. Mm, this is going on seven years. I've been running this game now. We wanted to do a green theme, so we agreed on TMNT, and that's where we are. So, those of y'all that know what's what, you know, Donatello's the best, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're doing the 1cc category, which means we're not doing death abuse for an easier playthrough. Correction, we'll be doing one death abuse, not continuous death abuse. Go ahead and pop these guys out. First stage is pretty simple. Kill enemies as they come. They have pretty consistent spawn patterns, but not consistent behavior, if that makes sense. Nice double kill there. Eh, I don't like him doing that. See what I mean about behavior not being consistent? <laughs> they start spinning around like that. It's not so friendly. Anyway, that'll clear out a second room. Here we have a module containing Rocksteady who will die in four prompt knockdowns. One, two, three, and four. Ah, uh, I didn't get Dominic to moonwalk. I misplaced him. Oh, well. Out the window we go after Shredder. All right, so stage two is where the run really begins. I wanted to kill both of them. That's unfortunate. Do that. We're kind of on a clock here to make sure we can save the most time. <laughs> and I know that sounds redundant, but I really mean that. This game will actually throw more enemies at you based on the amount of time that you're taking. That's rude. So I'm just trying to mow through enemies as quickly as I can, particularly using the, uh, the special attack here. Don't like this. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, they kind of ganged up on me there. So let me see if I can re-coordinate this. We also get the game's one and only example of a dirty glitch. We're gonna have right here. So if you hold diagonally, just rhythmically tap the attack button, you can warp your way through the building like so. Completely glitch out the top of the building. Force the boss to spawn early. This skips something like four waves of enemies, so not only does it look cool, it saves a ton of time. And here we have Bebop, ready to do his thing, which is just die in five knockdowns. Like so. Then we get to jump in a hole that doesn't exist. Okay, to the platform. Sewer is interesting. It's the first indication of this game having what's called the magic pixel. We don't use it because it's actually slow. With one exception, we will be using it on the boss. Glad I got that guy spawned. <clears throat> Take him out. Bowser's die in one hit, so we can hit him with essentially anything. One of the few times in the game where the lofty kick is actually good. Lofty kick being that little sideways jump kick you saw me do. Moves really bad. With two major exceptions. Okay, so we're gonna get under the gate. Don't like this. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't like that either. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. All right, so we kind of got, we kind of got bamboozled there. That was unfortunate. Like I said, enemy behavior is not consistent, so they will give you those patterns in some instances where they just force you to call audibles. It's not fun. Anyway, we'll do a quick wall jump here. We're still in position to take out these mousers. Okay, so now for Magic Pixel's actual use. Did not want that to happen. We're gonna stay right here for the boss to spawn. 
Faction's gonna drop these mousers that we've seen throughout the entire stage. But since we're on Magic Pixel, which is the bottom of this platform, they're not gonna be able to see us, and therefore they won't touch us. So just get to kill them in eight hits and move on. To the garage. Arguably the most important stage of the game, because this is where we'll be taking our death. Uh, okay, that's fine. Eh, I don't love that, but that's mostly okay. All right, now you're just being a troll. Please stop. Okay, so we're actually gonna take the... No, okay, I thought it was... For some reason, I thought that was five. It's been a minute since I've touched this. So I was hoping to take the death in the barrel, but I currently needed to be at three to do that. That's fine. <clears throat> and we need to take the death to ensure that we're gonna have the correct rank. Uh, don't want that. Double kill's nice, though. We're gonna lean far into this barrel. Get these guys dead. Take you, and you, and then you. Okay, so I'm gonna line up here on the bottom of the shadow portion. Should be able to line these two up here. Because if we don't, we're in trouble. That quick kill is essential for going as fast as possible. If you lose it, things turn real hairy real fast, so it's good that we were able to get that. And we're gonna move on. But I take time to set that up. I want to make sure I always have it. No exceptions. Okay, on to... I guess this is the streets. I forget. They... <clears throat> Some of the stages have very redundant names. Street, highway, city, you know, just... Uh, okay. <laughs> Someone really wants to be a wise guy. I hear you. <clears throat> take you out. You I have to take out. You, I don't. You can get run over. There we go. Take those clouds out. Oh, I almost had the, the quick kill. Unfortunate. That's okay. This stage is really just about making sure you can maintain enemy count. There's, um... There's a good number of enemies in this stage <coughs> that spawn if you take too long. So you want to make sure your clock is under control as well. Okay, over this way. Shout out to the car buffer graphic that's stuck on the left side. That's not a ROM glitch. That actually happens on the board itself. Happens on every machine I've ever played this on. These guys are being the worst right now. There we go. Okay, so on to the skateboard stage. I think this is the actual highway. <clears throat> at the very start, the top pixel is completely invincible in machine gun fire. They won't hurt you. Odd exception, the Japanese version, they turn this off. So that by default is the hardest version. If you ever end up playing it. Okay, so we've got a few guys spawned. The goal is I want to make sure a fourth guy on the ground spawns another helicopter, but unfortunately we have no control over that. It's random. And yeah, not good. Okay, so now we got our four. So from here, I'm just gonna bleed time on the clock until the music reaches a certain point. That was unfriendly. Hmm, <clears throat> I meant to hit that guy. So essentially what's gonna happen is at the end of the third loop of music, we're gonna be able to take these guys out and be able to clear the stage. Until then, we're just dodging enemy hits. Pretty simple as long as you stay inside the box. The guys with knives in particular for the most part, really don't have an easy time hitting you. The knife toss startup is really slow, and they have a melee attack that's like a like a gut check. That one, that's also very slow. Like you can't be anti-air with that ever. Guys with the fans are a little bit more annoying, but I reduced them down to one HP to ensure I can take care of them quickly. And the music loop's gonna end right about now. Tag you're it. That'll move us on. Definitely the safety strat. No need to kill a bunch of enemies. And it's technically faster. Okay, on to the factory. Where one, most 1cc is going to die. Even for experienced players. This stage is kind of ruthless. It's a very short stage, but there's like four or five different points where the, sta the stage itself can just take the game from you. Just because it wants to. 
Okay, so I got a lot of magic pixel here. We'll have a return of magic pixel here on this platform. It's not necessarily required, but it is safe. And in this stage, I value safety over speed. By and large. Okay. Just because all those enemies are really dangerous. Spear soldiers are the most dangerous enemies of the game. And gun soldiers are much better, especially when combined with spear soldiers. Okay, so still full health to the middle. Oh, how'd you get over here? Those guys are supposed to be long gone. Oh, well. Nice. Getting six of the seven drones is excellent. I tried to learn the visual cue to get seven consistently. I think I've only done it a handful of times in actual runs, but it's, it's tough. No reason not to go for it, though. Don't like that guy running. Okay, on to our boss. Had some difficulties with some enemies there. When those yellow guys run in from the left, they can really cause some issues. But they're disposed of and they're no longer a problem. Here we have Granitor, who is a lumbering pontoon boat of a boss. This guy just loves to steal time away from you. There is a fast strat that you can technically go for if you're trying to do like PB attempts, but it's generally not worth it if you're trying to play for safety. If you're just playing safe, you can just do what I'm doing here and just kite him up and down. And he can't beat Donatello's vertical range. One of the things that's so busted about Donnie, like not only does he have the longest range on a horizontal plane, but he can he can touch stuff above and below him very, very easily. I'm just gonna do this. Lay him out. It does take a number of hits that can't be sped up. It's like 44 hits, I think. And no matter what you hit him with, he's only going to take one damage. So you can't really speed up the fight with uh, with different attacks. Like, everything's going to hurt him the same. Move on. <clears throat> nice, perfect fight. Can't complain about that. Thank you, my turtle. Okay, on to our last stage. The dreaded Technodrome. Now, the first part of the Technodrome actually does have some issues that I'm going to try to avoid. All right, you can come down here and get thrown. I'd like to despawn those guys, please. Thank you. I didn't want that spawned yet. Oh, boy. This is going to be tricky. All right, they're going to... This is going to be a problem. I need to just have quiet time real quick. Uh Okay. Touch you. Moved to the right a little bit too far. Did not want the Rodneys to spawn yet, so that was clearly a problem, but we managed to maintain it. Jump that guy. So it turns out that top pixel is consistent. You just do that and just not get hit. Jump two freeze rays, jump the rope, and you're good. To the bottom of the elevator. Here comes the hit squad. Got a few different enemy types of varying difficulties. Don't mind the gun soldiers so much, but they can be a problem when they're in multiples. Rodney's also aren't a problem because they just died to dive kicks. Dive kicks are very, very good against them. We've got a couple, of at least one or two straggling gun soldiers. Okay. <clears throat> And the spear soldiers are the real issue. There's gonna be five of them, but I guess you can split up the spawn rate, which is nice. I actually did not know that. I thought they all spawned at the same time. We learned something today. Go big green. Okay, so on to Trag. Very similar to the last boss fight, <coughs> but we fight them horizontally as opposed to vertically, at least at first. Trag also tends to aggro you a lot more than Granitor does. Like he'll actually chase you. And his taunt is a lot less degenerate. Didn't want that yet, but I expected it. See, when Trag wants to come after you, he'll hoof it. Like, he has no problem tripling his speed. Which is great for us, because that means we get to hit him faster. Stop that. Okay. That'll be the last health we get for the rest of the game. Uh, 
Under our final rune to continue our boss rush. So most people feel Krang is the most intimidating boss in the game. He certainly looks like it, and his attacks do do a lot of damage. But Donatello really doesn't care about that, because Don can just poke him in the kneecaps and completely lame Krang out. It is timing specific, like you can't do this by mashing. You want to just kind of juke and come back and hit him again. Because after Krang takes a hit, he does have iframes. So yeah, no mashing. Mashing will just get you killed. In fact, this is a game where you very much don't want to mash on really anything unless you're trying to get a throw. Once he chases us to one side with a well-placed dive kick, we can just loop to the other. Music slaps though, doesn't it? Like all the music in this game is really good, but Krang's theme is something of a standout, I think. Okay, on to our final boss, the real problem. Okay, so one of two things is gonna happen in this fight. I'm hoping for an easier fight so I can just show some stuff off, but I have no guarantee of that. Okay, so we will have an easier fight, excellent. All right, so we've got the fake helmet, Shred fake Shredder's helmet exposed. You got that backwards, a little Freudian in there. Once he loses the helmet, he can no longer do the mutagen ray. If both of them had their helmets still attached, we could just have mutagen rays on both sides and that would be really scary. So by removing the helmet of the fake one, we can just move him to the right where he's gonna continue to try and flank us like he's doing here. And he just won't be a factor. So we can just 1v1 Shredder. Don's the best character for doing this just because of his range, clearly. Leo and Mike have... Their special attacks can get there, but it's a lot less safe. Does do more damage, though. With Don, you can just continue to poke at him. Just gotta make sure you dodge those. You know when he's gonna do it by watching his movement speed get much, much faster very quickly. Okay. I do wish I had a little bit more vertical space, but this is fine. I'm gonna ride this to victory. Didn't want to miss that, but okay. Do, 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 do. Be doing this. Turner does have quite a bit of health. I think with one death intact, he has 60 HP, and these only do one apiece. You can throw in a special attack to do three, which does shorten the fight somewhat, but it's also a lot less safe. But got the helmet off, we can just do this. Uh, yeah, that's kind of why it's risky. He tends to duck a lot when he's like that. See what I mean? <laughs> like he just ducked four attacks in a row. Must've known my friends were watching. Anyway, that'll finish him off. Just in time. <clears throat> Go green machine. Always fun to revisit that game. I know people love it. I enjoy being able to like show people just what you can do with this game, even though it's incredibly unfair. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a classic for a reason. And we've got a sick TMNT block the rest of the way. We've got TMNT2 NES run by JKL, followed by TMNT Randomizer by some of RGL's finest, and then a Turtles in Time run right after that, which still has donation incentives open. So be sure to get those in. Pop that here. We'll go boss, we'll go boss climate change for this one. How about that? Anyway, thank you all so much. Feel free to stick around for the rest of the event and enjoy Team NT2. Catch you later.